Hi, my name is Darina. I'm an intern in Garnet Genesis office. Hi, my name is Maha. I'm an intern in the office of MP Garnet Genesis. I'm a student at the University of Calgary. I'm doing a co-op work term for Garnet and I'm studying a dual major in economics with law and society. I'm Ukrainian from the city of Zaporizhia. I had an opportunity to take part in an internship at MP Garnet Genesis office in Ottawa. My family left Pakistan in the 80s to come to Canada. They were seeking refuge from political and uh, religious discrimination back home. I'm grateful to be here and every day I wake up uh, allowed to practice my faith as a blessing. I am passionate about human rights, I'm passionate about preserving human dignity and I found that working in this office was a pleasure every day because my mission aligned with a lot of what Garnet's goals are for his work as a shadow minister. One of my favorite things about interning in Garnet's office is the range of tasks I get to work on. One day I might be helping with a community event and the next day I could be researching policy issues that will have a real impact on people's lives. He really, really trusts his team and he gives you the opportunity to work on things that you're passionate about. It's really inspiring to be a part of a team that is so dedicated to making a positive difference in the world. If you're thinking about applying to this internship, just do it. I didn't regret it and neither will you. If you're passionate about making a difference in your community and want to learn about the political process, join Garnet Genesis team in Ottawa. Now, uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to conclude on a, on a personal note. So this motion today uh, is deeply personal for a member of my own staff. Darina, who's working for me right now in our conservative lobby, was born and lived almost all of her life in the city of Zipporizhia, the administrative center of the Zipporizhia region. 70% of that region is occupied by Russian troops, but the administrative center where she and her family live is under the control of Ukraine. The house where her parents live is 30 kilometers from the front lines. Now, there are many women and men in Canada today who, like Darina, are up late at night waiting for news to confirm that their families are okay. So while so many remain in harm's way, Canada's government must step up.